Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2024 of Thornton High School. We are increasingly improving our ability to be inclusive of everybody, regardless of their beliefs and who they belong to and the communities they surround themselves with. And to commemorate that, I would like to invite a couple of our graduates to salute and honor those in their native languages. De la bienvenida familias y invitados a la ceremonia de graduación de la promoción de 2024. Okay. Maligayang pagdating sa mga pamilya at panahin sa seremonya ng pagtatapos para sa klase ng 2024. Deus boas-vindas às famílias e convidados à cerimônia de formatura da turma de 2024. Good afternoon, my name is Danny Marenko, proud principal and honored to celebrate this achievement with the graduates and with all of you. Before I address the graduates, I would like to, to take this opportunity to welcome, introduce our guests that are here today to join us in our celebration. Our school board president, Mr. Andrew Lee. Our superintendent, Ms. Tony Presta. <laughs> School board trustee, Mr. Jerome Gallegos. <laughs> Our deputy superintendent of business services, Ms. Tina Van Raphorst. <laughs> and our director of special education, Ms. Grace Ventura. And now to introduce the staff of Thornton High School. First, our school social worker, Miss Yvette Yambao. <laughs> Special Education, English and Health, Ms. Harley Hanaras. <laughs> Wilderness School and Science, Mr. Ed Lopez. Science, Remote Independent Study, and our instructional coach, Ms. Lakar Makanoy. English, Mr. Dennis McNamara. English, Mr. Blas Herrera. Social Science, Remote Independent Study, Mr. Andrew Solomon. Math and Remote Independent Study, Ms. Kingsley Sweat. <laughs> School and Wellness Counselor, Ms. Tarlek Talkoff. <clears throat> wellness Intern, Ms. Brianna Frilo. <laughs> Independent Study, Ms. Kathy Olive. Our Registrar, Attendance, and Health Aid, Ms. Tracy Borsa. Our School Welfare and Attendance Monitor and Campus Security, Ms. Liz Danatali. Our Administrative Assistant, Accounting, and Receptionist, Ms. Joanne Fadai.
school paraprofessional, and library aide, as well as arts, Ms. Sandra McGurdy. <laughs> Maintenance, Mr. Jose Grande. <laughs> Food services, Mr. David Lockett. <laughs> school psychologist, Dr. Marina Murphy. Transition Specialist, Ms. Dana martinez Moles. <laughs> District Nurse, Mr. Mark Pascali. <laughs> and I would also like to recognize in our program those service providers, those community-based organizations that are assisting us and supporting us and celebrating this day. Our social studies teacher and remote independent study, Mr. Alan Vu. <laughs> Math and leadership, Ms. May Madrid. <laughs> Before I address the graduates, I would like to also thank a couple of groups. Again, the Thornton staff each day, the teachers, counselors, and staff give everything they have, their hearts and minds to guide students to this very day. They give unconditionally, they do what it takes and prepare to prepare soon to be graduates for the world of tomorrow. We are grateful for your service to this community. <clears throat> Second, I would like to thank all of you, parents, guardians, caregivers, families, support systems, and community-based organizations who continuously motivated, inspired, and encouraged the graduates to reach their goals. Congratulations to you all. The fruits of your labor sit before you today. Did you know and I'm not gonna do one of my corny jokes this time though. But did you know that this is the last graduation in this building? Because our district, through the support of our community, is making way for a new district office and a new location for the graduating class of 2025. So it's with great honor that we celebrate you as the last graduating class in this gym in this building, the class of 2024. <laughs> class, we celebrate not just the end of high school, but the beginning of your journey as agents of change in a world that deeply needs your voice and action. You've grown in a time of profound social change, witnessing movements that demand justice equality, and a better future for all. As you step forward, remember that your education has equipped you not only with knowledge, but with the responsibility to make a difference. The lessons you've learned extend beyond textbooks. They are about empathy, fairness, and courage to stand up for what is right. Social justice is not a destination but a continuous journey. It requires vigilance, compassion, and a willingness to, to challenge the status quo. Whether you choose to advocate for environmental sustainability, racial equality, gender rights, or economic justice, know that your efforts matter. Use your talents to represent the voices of the marginalized, to build bridges where there are divides, and to create systems that reflect the honor and dignity of every individual. Your generation has the power to reshape the world, making it more just, more inclusive, and more compassionate. Embrace your role as champions of social justice and community. The future is yours to shape. Congratulations, class of 2024.
Okay, so I'm going to be quiet now, and I'm going to bring forward, and it's my honor to introduce your school and wellness counselor, Ms. Carla Talkoff. Thank you, Dr. Marenko. Good afternoon, everyone. Magandang hapon po. Salamat sa Diyos. Nakatapos na rin ang mga kababayan natin. Woohoo! This is my 23rd graduation here at Thornton High School. A couple of weeks ago, a new family came in to register their 10th grader. I walked out and the mom says, oh, you're still here. <laughs> she was the class of 2003. So that makes me old. I usually say a few words to the grads and I will do that, but I also we'll say something else for the staff. So let me start. Dear graduates, proud parents and family members and honored guests, as we gather here today to celebrate the achievements of the graduating class of 2024, it's impossible to ignore the unprecedented challenges that have shaped the landscape of education over the past few years. There was this thing that happened called COVID. So this graduating class of 2024 was the graduating class middle school of 2020. They did not have their graduation. They had a drive-through promotion. So congratulations, you made it. It was hard. Distance learning was hard for the students, for the families, for the staff. We were new to distance learning. Zoom, who knew about Zoom, right? But we trudged through and they made it here. Graduation is a time of reflection and as we reflect on the challenges that we've faced and lessons we've learned, there's one truth about you that shines through. You can do hard things, and you've proven it. You are capable of rising to the occasion. You've proven that you have the strength, the resilience, and the spirit to tackle even the, tough, the toughest of challenges. Trust your abilities. Get out there. Make us proud. We love you. You'll always be part of the Thornton community. And then this morning, I woke up to a very beautiful love letter from a parent. Best day ever. I don't know if she's here, but I just want to read a few of the passages that she said about our school. I am writing this to express my gratitude for everyone involved in my student. At first, I was hesitant on transferring him. After talking with his counselor at Westmore regarding the credits he needed to graduate and where we were actually at with them, I still was hesitant. See, I was a student at Thornton, 98, 99. And it was everything behind the reputation it was known for. The counselor reached out to Carla and introduced us and with that first phone call, I gave it a chance. After being at orientation, I felt comfortable enough to give it a try. It was the best way to go. The school made an impact and I'm in debt to the staff all around. I felt very supported. I can reach out to staff with any concern or assistance with my student and with my life. My emotions are stirred up and mixed crazy as we head out to graduation. It really takes a village, and I had a very steady platform to stand on at Thornton. A million blessings to you. I would like the staff to stand up. Stand up. <laughs> this is how we do it. We were all deep. Okay, on with the program. We will now start with a statement from the graduates. Our first student speaker is Gustavo Manzanares.
Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2024. My name is Gustavo Manzanares, and today marks the end of a journey and the beginning of another as we transition into adulthood. I wanna give everybody here a big round of applause, including myself, for being here today despite the trials and tribulations that may have been in the way, especially when COVID happened. At first, I was totally happy that we had two weeks off of middle school and we were getting towards the end of eighth grade and suddenly those two weeks turned into a year and a half of uh, online learning and just a lot of, um, just a lot of rough stuff happened. Um, anyways, whatever. I made poor decisions, of course. Um, skipping school. I think I got like two letters. It was like 20, 20 days of absences. Um, when it came down to in-person learning, um, I knew nothing. I knew absolutely nothing. Um, I barely made it through my sophomore year. And... At some point I knew it was just time for a change. I needed to mix things up and start anew. So I came to my TIA about going to Thornton and I knew it had a reputation and all this other stuff. I didn't know much about it besides, you know, everything from back in the day. And I told her to just trust me because I was gonna do, I was gonna do big things and I was gonna make her proud. So she bought into it luckily, and yeah, I, I'm here now. <laughs> what I'm trying to, oh, thanks, sorry. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is persistence is key and anybody could do anything that they want, you know? Sorry, let me skip the page. This was not in the script. <laughs> um, <laughs> Most of my year, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right. I worked hard. I made 32 credits in about two months. And so luckily I was able to get out early. I went to Skyline for some time. My uncle and my cousin who are here today helped me out with the construction in real estate for the summer. And I had a lot of fun. I think Thornton was definitely the way to go. It, um, it helped me just be a better person, I think. I made good connections with all my teachers, all the peers that I, were, or that I was cool with. We were cool, of course. Um, I wish everybody here a happy life, guys. Purpose, fulfillment, and happiness. But before I end this speech, I just wanna thank the staff. I wanna thank my family. And most of all, I want to thank my grandmother, who was always there for me whenever I needed help. She always pushed me to be the best I could be. Um, I plan to repay everything that she did for me with my persistence and my hard work. And I want to thank the class once again. Congratulations, graduates of 2024. Thank you, Gustavo. Our next student speaker is Jonathan Ryan Cruz. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Jonathan Ryan Cruz. Today marks our greatest collective achievement, which was making it through high school. I guess, is that good? Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. It felt like years passed in a blink of an eye, and that reason was the pandemic. It was a rough trans uh, transition from going to school in person to online school. Especially since we were first just entering high school, others have said that online school was easy to do, but personally, for me, it was difficult. It felt as though my freshman year was like robbed from me. And with, uh, without any motivation to do anything, I made rash decisions to just avoid schoolwork and all. 
That being said, the consequences to my decision were that I got no marks for my classes. After being able to go back to school, it was a rough, as I was basically going in blind. It was hard to keep up with my classes. This kept up for both my sophomore and junior year, and at the end of my junior year, I was told that I would have to attend Thornton High School because of my lack of credits. I can say that I was afraid at first, but later came to realize that it was definitely the best decision for me. I was able to do my work at my own pace, and at the second, and at the end of the first quarter for senior year, I, I, I had earned 32 core credits. Uh, I tell you guys this as an example because this was just one roadblock in life, and ahead there may lie, uh, lie more. But I just want to say that failures, failures don't define who you are. It's how you rise from that failure and strive to be better. Life after high school will be different for all of us, and that should make that should and that you should make what you think is the best possible decision for yourself. That being said, I would just love to congratulate all of us for being able to grab that diploma. And I would just love to say thank you to the friends and family and the Thorn staff, my mom, my family, and all of those who supported me to get through this. Once again, thank you and congratulations. Our last student speaker is Pedro Soares de Silva. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, faculty, family, friends, and the graduating class of 2024, my name is Pedro de Silva. As we stand on the brink of a fresh phase, I am humbled to address the sea of caps and gowns, each representing a journey of perseverance, dedication, and triumph. Today is a mosaic of our memories, a bridge between who we are and who we are about to become. <laughs> to my fellow graduates, we did it. We're the class of 2024, a class that has navigated the labyrinth of adolescence and emerged ready to take on the world. A high school journey has been an odyssey of self-discovery, learning, and growth. As we chart our course forward, let us carry the lessons of resilience, empathy, and innovation. The world we're stepping into is fraught with challenges, but it also ripe with opportunities to make a difference. Whether we choose to navigate the waters of science, the arts, business, or any other field, let us do so with the courage to disrupt the status quo and the compassion to up uplift others. Remember, success is not measured by the heights we reach, but by the lives we touch. As we set sail, let us pledge to be agents of change, to be the generation that stands up for what is right, and not what just is right, but your own definition of right. Class of 2024, as we turn our tasks today, we turn the pace to a new chapter. Let's write a story that we can look back on with pride. Let's live a life full of purpose, passion, and positivity. positivity. And let's always remember that once a touring graduate, always a touring graduate. Congratulations, and may your future be as bright and promising as the journey of embarked upon today. All glory be to God. Thank you, Pedro. Can we have another round of applause, please, for our student speakers? Every quarter, we celebrate our scholars. We have our honor roll, perfect attendance, and student of the quarter. When I call their names, please hold your applause until the end of each quarter so that everybody can hear their names. And I will tell you. For our first quarter honor roll, Juan Aguirre Navarro. Stan, where's Juan? Aguirre, Juan Aguirre, Stan. <laughs> I'm sorry, Juan Aguirre Guevara. I'm sorry, that's why he didn't stand. Juan Aguirre Guevara. Jonathan Ryan Cruz. Gustavo Manzanares. I call them the Thornton Triplets. For perfect attendance, Juan Aguirre Guevara, Brandon Bermillo, Mauricio Campos, Jonathan Ryan Cruz, Ricardo Cruz Sanchez, 
Kaidrin Fukumitsu, Kayla Hightower, Camilla Landos, Jerlene Lazatine, Stephen Lovett, Gustavo Manzanares, Juan Navarro Romero, Matthew Nye Neighbor, Andrea Sechoa, Samira Parker, Jorge Ruiz, and for our Q1 Citizens of the Quarter, Juan Aguirre Guevara, Jonathan Ryan Cruz, Gustavo Manzanares, also known as the Thornton Triplets. Congratulations. <laughs> for our second quarter honor roll, Kaidrin Fukumitsu, Jerlene Lazatine, for perfect attendance, Mauricio Campos, Cole Ingler, Kaidrin Fukumitsu, Kian Sean Sekdalan, and for a Q2 Citizen of the Quarter, quarter Matthew Nye Neighbor. <laughs> for a third quarter honor roll, Mauricio Campos, Danny Grande Juarez, Kian Sean Sekdalan. For perfect attendance, Jorge Ruiz, Mauricio Campos, Damian Cheney, Ricardo Cruz Sanchez, Camila Landos, Juan Navarro Romero, Cristiana Reyes, Jorge Ruiz, Carla Mevia Gracia. And for our Q3 Citizens of the Quarter, Brandon Bermillo, and Josue Tunches Ariaga. <laughs> Next, we have some surprises. Every year, community-based um, organizations honor our graduates with some scholarships. The first scholarship is the Pappen Memorial Scholarship Award, and I would like to call in Ms. Gina Pappen. Love surprises. Congratulations to all the graduates of Thornton High School. This is the best graduation to be at. Seeing all these smiling faces and all the hard work and effort you all put in, it is an honor to be here. My name is Gina Pappen. I am here in honor and memory of my brother, John Pappen, who in his short 21 years of life faced many, many struggles, but he did so with determination, perseverance, and just joy, putting the smile on everybody's face here. And that's what we honor every year. And so this year, it is my proud honor to give the John Pappen Memorial Scholarship to Sabrina Rodas Svantidis. Thank you. Congratulations, Sabrina. Our next award is the Skyline Scholarship. May I call in Ms. Patricia Flores? Are you here, Ms. Patricia Flores? She is not here. So I will call the, um, the recipient of the Skyline Scholarship Award goes to Juan Aguirre Guevara. Every year, the Jefferson Union High School District celebrates students from each school. And so for this year, the student of the month from Thornton High School is Pedro Soares da Silva. And to give out the Machin Center for Kindness is Ms. Yvette Yambao.
Good afternoon. The Machen Center is named after Doris Machen, an award-winning community activist dedicated to supporting the transformation of underserved at-risk youth, young adults, and families. Every year, Marguerite Machen, the center's president, who has served 16 years as a health educator and five years as a substitute teacher with our district, awards two graduates with the Machen Award for Kindness and Cooperation. Marguerite couldn't be here today. This would have been her 26th Thornton graduation, uh, her first time absent due to a family obligation, but she will contact the recipients directly during the summer. The award winners have been chosen by the Thornton staff, bearing in mind these definitions. Kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate, while cooperation is the process of working together to the same end. Our first honoree was described by staff as friendly, personable, spreads joy, is thoughtful, has a willing attitude, compassionate, responsible, hardworking, determined, resilient, self-aware, and speaks her truth. There's your, there's your hint. Please congratulate Sabrina Rodas Cifuentes. Staff described the second honoree as courteous, all smiles, respectful, has a positive attitude, big-hearted, strong relationship skills, attentive, engaged, disciplined, determined, resilient, confident, encourages others, and made the most of his time here. Please uh, help me congratulate Josue Tunches Arriaga. They're cousins. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Yambao, and congratulations to the award winners. It gives me great pleasure to now introduce our staff keynote speaker I'd like to bring up. Ms. Lakar McConaughey. Dear class of 2024, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and honored guests, good afternoon. As I stand before you today as your staff speaker, I can't help but feel profoundly honored and grateful. This is my fifth graduation ceremony in the U.S., and I am proud to be part of this dynamic team of educators. Today marks a momentous occasion in our journey together. As educators, we have had the privilege of witnessing your growth, struggles, and triumphs. We have watched you evolve into the outstanding individuals you are today. And we are confident that you will continue to achieve great things. As you stand on the threshold of this new chapter in your lives, I am reminded on a powerful metaphor, the diamond. Now I want all of your eyes here. Take a look, graduates. This is a diamond and this resembles all of you. Think about a piece of diamond for a second. Why is it so highly valued? Diamonds are the ultimate treasures of nature. They are among the most admired stones on earth and have been among the most sought after jewels for thousands of years. But how are diamonds formed? Let's talk about science, since I'm a science teacher. Diamonds are formed deep within the earth under intense heat and pressure and pushed to the surface of incredible speeds in upsurges of volcanic molten lava. Just like diamonds, each one of you is unique and precious. Throughout your journey at Thorn High School, you have undergone immense pressure, 
challenges and struggles to reach this point. Remember those late nights spent working independent work packets, working extra time for your ingenuity class and slide presentations? The all about me presentation or the stress of balancing multiple assignments. Navigating friendships, dealing with peer pressure, and experiencing social exclusion can be emotionally draining. Balancing school with part-time jobs and other extracurricular activities can be demanding. Experiencing significant responsibilities at home, such as caring for siblings or contributing to household incomes. Yet, perseverance and resilience have made you stronger and more brilliant than ever. You've been polished and refined, not by the pressures of heat and time, but by the challenges you've faced, the knowledge you've acquired, and the relationship you've built. You have learned to manage time, develop effective study habits, and cope with stress. You have developed social skills, empathy, and the ability to handle interpersonal conflicts. You have learned to prioritize and commit to various responsibilities, which builds maturity and the ability to handle multiple roles and expectations. So class of 2024, like diamonds, you possess an inner strength and that withstand the pressure of adversity and the test of time. You've shown resilience in the face of setbacks and perseverance in pursuing your goals. But what truly set diamonds apart is their brilliance. Similarly, your potential to shine brightly in the world is limitless. Each facet of your personality, talents, and passions contributes to the radiant light you emit. Like diamonds, your education at Thorn High School has shaped and polished you into a multifaceted individuals each with unique strengths and qualities. As diamond reflect light in countless ways, your diverse talents and experiences illuminate the world. So, as you leave these halls and venture into the unknown, remember these three qualities of a diamond, and you have all of these. Your uniqueness, your strength, and brilliance. Let them guide you as you navigate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Remember, the word diamond comes from the Greek word adamas. It means indestructible and invincible. So before I end my speech, I would like to give the honor to give my final fireworks club together with the staff. So I will request the staff to stand and let us honor our class of 2024 with our loud and famous fireworks club at Thorn High School. Everybody, one, two, three. Boom! <laughs> so as I conclude, I want to congratulate the class of 2024 May you continue to sparkle and shine, illuminating the world with your brilliance. May you shine brightly, just like the diamonds you are. Thank you. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> Mr. Carr, thank you so much. All right, we're almost at that magic moment, but before we start distributing diplomas and get your cameras ready, I'd like to introduce and I have the honor of asking our school board president, Mr. Andrew Lee, to address the class before we hand out diplomas. Mr. Lee. Superintendent Presta, Dr. Marenko,
faculty and staff of Thornton, parents, friends, family, and of course, the graduates of the class of 2024. Congratulations. We are excited to honor and celebrate Thornton's graduating class of 24. Graduates, you've come a long way. While a global pandemic threatened to derail your education at the start, you have persisted to this day. You've worked hard, you've worked smart, and you have worked with these amazing teachers and staff in Thornton to reach this moment. Now take a look to your right. Take a look, go ahead and look at these folks over here. Look at the incredible staff who have taught you, who have counseled you, who have laughed with you, who have cried with you, and who have loved you during your time here. Give them a shout out right now. We know the work you've done to reach this moment, so enjoy this moment. We are excited for you, and we know that each of you will do something to improve this world as you leave Thornton. So graduates, give me a drum roll. Are you ready? By the power vested in me by the state of California, I am now ready to award the diplomas for graduation. Let's go! Ariana, Alca Ariana Bat Al-Qaeda Brew. James Aris. <laughs> Sophia Conroe. Mark Cruz. Gustavo Manzanares. Andrea Orantes. Jorge Ruiz. Kira Lee Ann Tong. Next, Ms. Harley Honoras. Kayla Hightower. <laughs> Stephen Lovett. <laughs> Next is Ms. May Madrid. Juan Aguirre Guevara. Atria Chalistis de Dote Castro. Cole Ingler. Koke Etene Faamor. Kaidrin Fukumitsu. Angelina Gomez Ortiz. Sanaya Latu. Jerlene Lasatin. 
Next is Ms. Kingsley Sweat. Estrella Duarte. Jason Lagos. Luciano Medrano. Juan Navarro Romero. Ulysses Rauda Gomez. Pedro Soares da Silva. Tierra Wilson. Next is Mr. Andy Solomon. Brenda Flores Mares. Danny Grande Juarez. Camila Landos. Cynthia Milan. Christiana Reyes. <laughs> Sabrina Rodas Cifuentes. Josue Tunches. And next is Mr. Alan Vu. Brandon Bermillo. Mauricio Campos. Arlette Castellon Carbajal. Sean Maverick Chrysostomo. Jonathan Ryan Cruz. Kalolo Martinez. Kian Sean Sakdalen. Simone Villalau. <laughs> Carla May Villagracia. <laughs> and lastly, Mr. Ed Lopez. <laughs> Damien Cheney. Ricardo Cruz Sanchez. Lucas Diaz. Victor Mendoza. Matthew Nye Neighbor. Andreas Ochoa. Samira Tayani Parker.
Graduates, it is now time. Please turn your tassels from right to left. I present to you the graduating class of 2024 for Thornton High School.